There is no login password for this system. Accent HL5500 PC Hall system. The system is controlled from a Dell personal computer and the unit has a, a driver controller here and the main system with the prober station in the front under the cover here. Right now the a sample is uh, installed here, a standard measurement sample. And the, the magnet is visible from the front. The unit also has a, a liquid nitrogen filling devoir here, which will enable to cool the sample if necessary. There is a microscope in order to view the sample surface and adjust the probe pins. We have to make sure that the probe pins are not touching the metallic wall here. In order to start the measurement, Make sure you close the lid and close the door. Give me a moment. I think this connector was not all the way in. Application, click on the icon hall and the, the unit is initializing the magnet. It will rotate it 360 degrees. Once the stage is initialized, we have to first select this sample in the file menu. And here, there are available options are like you can enter the sample identification number and then the material. I'm going to use a gallium arsenide sample. There are several uh, materials are available here, starting with silicon germanium and ending with zinc selenium. And then the geometry. The geometry is wonder 
geometry of four probes. And in case the bulk properties of the unit is to be measured, we have to enter the thickness of the sample here. For sheet results, the thickness should be zero. Now the configuration is the second item, the second menu item. Here there is a temperature submenu. We can select ambient or if there is liquid nitrogen in the devour, you can use 77 Kelvin temperature. Now in the measurement configuration, either you can select the millivolts, a target millivolt, or select a current, uh, what you want to apply to do the measurement. At this moment, I clicked on the target voltage, 20 millivolts, and the unit successfully found the target voltage and the corresponding current. And there are other parameters can be entered here, such as delay and averaging and the mobility correction values, if necessary. And once the sample is identified and the configuration for the measurement is done, we are ready to do the measurement itself. Before going to the measurement, I want to show the, there's a help menu available where we have some information about the HL 5500 Hall system details which can be used to in order to get the details of the unit. And also the version details of the software which is installed in this machine which is version 2.11 and the most in, uh, important thing is the engineering here in this screen there is the engineering and the sub menu magnet we can verify that the magnet is functioning properly uh, we can move the magnet or the stage could be moved in and out. So before hitting the in, we should make sure that the lid is closed. In and out. You can also initialize the magnet. There is a door interlock switch connected using this connector here. Now, the status of the door interlock is uh, updated. So when the interlock is enabled, it, in, it displays N by S, and when it is open, if we update it, you will see the lid open. And the magnet field strength is uh, displayed here, 0 0.52 Tesla. So now I'm going to do the measurement. The first thing I would do is uh, checking the contacts. Click on the check contacts. So the values are measured between the probes 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4. Likewise, until 2 and 4, all the values are displayed. And the window can be moved to a convenient location. 
And now I'm doing the IV curves. Right now it is plotting between the probes one and two, and it will also do the contacts three and four. If any contacts are open, it will be indicated when the contacts are checked. Okay, now it is ready for the next measurement. Let's look at this window there. Now I'm doing the resistivity check. And again, the measurements are between the contacts 4 and 3, 4 and 1, and 2 and 1, and 2 and 3. While doing the measurement, the unit will prompt to close the door if necessary. Uh, this is contact number one and two, three and four. They're in a counterclockwise pattern. One, two, three and four. And all the probes are numbered on the connections as well. The, the coaxial wires are connected to these pins. You can also do the hall measurement. This is a good research tool in order to measure the properties of various semiconductors. You can stop this cycle at any point of time if necessary. want to verify the readings once again we can do the measurements again right now I just enable the resistivity measurement sample has to be properly prepared as for the manual procedure. The procedure is uh, in detail. Here is a square piece of substrate with the uh, four contact points at the four corners and Rectangular samples also could be used, but the there's a limitation on the ratio of the sample thickness to the, uh, the length and the width. So the rules have to be followed as per the manual. Interface connections. The Accent HL5580 amplifier is installed in this unit and it is connected using this RS232 25 pin connector on the unit end to the serial port on the Dell PC, the serial port number 2, the one here. We will label, label it such a way it will be easy to connect. 
And there are two more interface connectors. This one is carrying the signals, the six connections. And this one is the, the magnet motor driver connection cable from the HL5500 system. And the PC talks to the system via these IEEE 488 GPIB interface cables. There's an extra connector available if in case one more unit is to be hooked up. And the regular mouse and keyboard cable connections and the VGA graphic connector. This is the power supply for the microscope illuminator. An operating manual is included with the machine. The, the revision of the software described in the manual is an older version, but the operating principle is same and the procedure is to be followed from this manual. 